judgment. Yes, again, this card's come up. If you ain't going to do it, divine is going to kick your butt. He or she, your divine masculine, is probably waiting for a miracle to happen for you guys to get together. Like... Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Miss Juro. I will be doing a Twin Flame Collective reading for the following week. It's been a while since my last reading. It's school holidays over here in Melbourne, so it's a bit cray-cray. Trying to find the time and the space and the, well, mainly the headspace to be able to do this reading. I noticed with my last reading it was done upside down, which was absolutely... Oh, okay, made me dizzy, but don't look at that. Don't look at that. Just hear the message. Okay, I did a particular July energy reading. I know I did it for the full moon in Capricorn, but I think it's the twin flame energy checkup with also a frequency healing at the end of it. So please have a look at that. That will hopefully navigate you to where you need to go for the month. I'll be using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck. I haven't used these guys for a while. It's sort of staring at me today, so I thought, okay, I'm going to use this. All right, for this collective watching this okay the first card is trust i am a messy reader as you would know in the past whatever resonates with you great whatever doesn't stuff it just take the nuggets that do all right release please release me let me go that's what i'm getting <laughs> Sounds like one of my dad's songs. Okay, and playfulness. Okay, on a mushroom. Okay, so this first card is trust. Now, I mentioned this in my last readings about trusting your intuition, trusting your gut. I think uh, there's a few divine feminines out there who are a bit confused of what's going on, especially when everything's going a bit cray-cray. So I think trusting in, in your own gut is important for you to be able to navigate moving forward. And also, again, here, this release, that song where I mentioned about my father used to sing is Please Release Me, Let Me Go by Ingelbert Humperdinck or Dinker Humper. <laughs> I won't choose that song, okay? Um, but what I what got from me with this is that I think there's divine feminines are feeling these energies from the divine masculine quite a lot. And it's actually putting them through quite a bit of, pain or agony because they get to make contact with them and I think from here the way the the way this feminine is going is that she she just wants to be released from the agony of possibly waiting or just the release of the energy of not feeling for the divine masculine anymore and, and just being able to move on with her life and that's the sense I'm getting for this particular card it's going to be interesting what the rest of the cards say here but she just wants to go away. She just wants to release it. She just wants to be able to move on. There's a sense where that there is um, a divine masculine energy that is holding her back from leaping forward for what she wants to do. And she just wants to be released. Okay, I've got this thing in my head saying catch and release, catch and release. So the divine masculine sort of fishing around and catching her every time, giving her a kiss and then throwing her back in the ocean that's the sense I'm getting here now for some of you. Yeah, so poor you fishies. So that was weird. Maybe it's because they're out there fishing at the moment on a boat. Anyway, also, we've got this third card, the playfulness. Again, I mentioned the mushroom thing in <laughs> full moon in Capricorn. That's because uh, instead of strawberries on a full moon, which is pretty much in the northern hemisphere, mushrooms are growing in the southern hemisphere. So everyone's doing bit of mushrooms here and there uh, and so here we've got uh, this fairy on a mushroom being playful now I think it's important for the divine feminines to probably maintain a childlike mind in terms of playfulness and the innocence if you, you divine feminines are a parent probably it's a good time during school holidays to uh, spend time with your kids or teenagers depending where you're at or with other children just to be able to share the energy with them and the playfulness and the innocence that they bring. 
anyway so okay let's see what the cards have to say okay let's see what's happening in the next week no i can't get rid of that song by engelbert is he still alive anyway okay eight of cups okay you're walking away someone's walking away what else the sun again riding in the sun naked yay one of my favorite cards oh four of cups four of coins ah, four of coins four of coins <sighs> oops king of swords upside down interesting Ooh. Oh, okay let's pop out king of pentacles and the star upright the star the wish the wish okay eight of cups you're walking away from something you're moving towards riding in the sun naked yes you this is what you want to go this is where you want to be enjoying yourself and then all of a sudden you're hiding something you're keeping secrets within you you or your divine masculine i can't figure it out yet holding being stingy possibly with money keeping things close to your heart or, or them keeping them stuff close to them in their heart king of swords in reverse oh okay mm, okay what do you what, is it divine masculine the divine masculine king of swords in reverse uh, has he been uh, something about judgment Gonna have to get something clarify that. And a king of pentacles. Another king side by side in reverse. Pentacles. Usually a king of stability and wealth. King of swords is all, all about truth and black and white stuff. Ugh. Air and earth. Mm, I don't know. See, I, I just sprout out all these astrological signs, but yeah. I'm just trying to sound smart, I don't exactly. I'm not good at it. And the star. Someone's wishing. Someone is going to get their wish. Okay, okay. Top of the deck, we've got oh, Ace of Pentacles. Beginning finances. Ace of Pentacles at the top of the deck. And at the bottom of the deck, we have. <laughs> One. Wow. Again. Wow. Wow. Wow, it's so cramped under this pyramid. A twin flame card. That could also mean household foundation, stability. We're all moving along here. Ace of Pentacles, new beginning, finances, prosperity. Oh, for this group, you're in luck. Okay, all right. Okay, let's get the clarifier clarify cards uh, hang on, let's, let's just check I just I don't like shuff, I like things all up right at the beginning and if they go upside down they go upside down okay clarifying cards okay what does this ace of pentacles mean new beginning um, okay I'm also looking at what are you walking away from or who's walking away from what Oop, something here something here Oop, okay hermit the hermit someone is in deep thought oh chucking it there someone is thinking in looking into themselves focusing what they want shining the light to their heart looking like they're looking at their belly i did mention this in my july energy update about the solar plexus this stuff in the gut that's telling you something uh, you just have to learn how to get it out and express yourself through your throat chakra. So uh, for me, it looks like the hermit, I think, is looking at his belly. Something going there, something in the gut is not right, shining a light or something, what's going on, that's how I'm seeing it. The walking away from, oh, is it you? Because you're releasing yourself here. Is it the divine masculine? Someone's moving away. Maybe both of you are moving away for something that no longer serves you. Okay, let me think. Oh, 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 we got the Empress card. This one fell upside down. Oh, okay. Oh, man, 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 is it you? Divine Feminines. 
you're getting into empress mode you're coming out of your you're being quite defensive in the past you're coming out of it let me think let me think no i i think divine masculine is actually thinking about you right now they're looking at you as the ultimate divine feminine the empress something here about your level of power there is also the seven of wands in reverse there's a bit of disorganization going on feeling of overwhelmed now i know in the past few weeks divine masculine has been feeling overwhelmed of of what's going in their soul there's a lot of stirrings going on and also in their 3d life okay i also see that because you guys are mirroring ugh, mirroring each other Divine Feminines, you're looking in as well about your soul journey. You're feeling overwhelmed, disorganized, etc. You're taking it one step at a time. You're taking your battles one step at a time. There is definitely action moving forward. Both of you, you're moving away from stuff and you both want to ride in the sun naked. <laughs> both of you want to move to this level of happiness. So there is a lot of, um, yeah, well, there is definitely... A lot of inner healing going on between both of you. Divine feminines, you are coming to your great level. A divine masculine is looking at you as, uh, I think, to a point of intimidation that you light up their life. <laughs> That's another daggy song. Um, but, yeah, the seven of wands in reverse. Taking For me, it looks like you're battling, you're choosing your battles or they're choosing their battles, taking it one step at a time. It's not. As, it's still a bit disorganized, but you're moving towards. There is something good happening, coming through the universe is providing you, handing you something, for you to be able to move forward. Now, what is this? Keep being a tight ass. This four of coins. What are you being stingy with money? Are they being stingy? Oh, there's secrets. It's like you're holding secrets close to your chest. Okay. This this looks like a uh, financial thing. These next three cards look like a financial thing. King of Swords can also be a corrupt boss or some some whatever someone above you or got authority over you giving you shit. It also could be not making a decision, indecision city. Okay. So you guys should be walking away from things you, you do want to ride in the sun naked, but Something's holding you back, and I think it's to do with finances. I think it's also the divine masculine is holding back because of finances as well. They're keeping things very close to their heart. It's causing a lot of rift between um, the karmic. If you or them have a karmic partner, um, it's causing arguments, I think, in the household in regards to this because I think you guys are holding on to your stash because you want to get to this point for your own self, for your own happiness. So there's all this, again, I mentioned this a few weeks ago about secret stash, but it's also holding things within you, holding what your, your possessions close to your heart. So this King of Swords, King of Pentacles in reverse, this is to do with money. This is to do about possibly job, like you possibly have a shitty boss or they, your Divine Masculine has a shitty boss. They're trying to decide whether to quit or not. There's a lot of pressure there, pressure about money and lifestyle. It's going to really impact you or them in regards to money and lifestyle. So they're staying put or you're staying put in your current job. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, can I have any more cards to clarify this? It's moving over there. Okay, the world. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Nah, it's going to drop here. The world so basically the world as i say the world we live in at the moment there's quite possible you i'd say this came from last week i think the divine masculine wants to probably change jobs but considering what the state of the world is at the moment jobs are probably far and few between possibly the risk of changing jobs with the economic climate could be not too stable to do so although there are a lot of folk changing jobs and finding better jobs but it is that risk factor that you or the Divine Masculine does not want to take at this point in time because the world is not looking too bright for the whatever industry you work for. But also this card means that things are changing. Things are actually shifting in, in this world anyway. So this could be an omen. The world card, for these three cards, I'm saying it reflects that because of the world state, the two 
uh, economic situation there you or them are afraid to move jobs okay what's this star anything more to clarify about this uh, oh yep six of cups they're thinking about you quite a lot you guys are either high school sweethearts childhood sweethearts there's definitely memories they're thinking about you you're obviously thinking about them Yes, because you want to be released from the memory. And the star, you're thinking coulda, woulda. You both want that wishing upon a star thing. It could also mean six of cups. It could be also children. That the financial impact, the risk of changing jobs, etc. is going to affect the family, the kids. And that's why you're keeping things. You're holding on to what you've got right now. Or they're holding on to what they've got right now because of the sake of the kids and this unstable world. Um, okay, and the star and the four of wands. What's this about? What is this about? In reverse. Oh, delay again delay ace of cups why why is there a delay maybe it's just a slight delay because you're not moving things are not moving here the divine masculine or you are feeling insecure about your finances again this comes up keeps on coming up a family thing ace of cups in reverse it's been delayed it's right there. It is right there. That card, the star. Why are things upside down? Okay, why are the things upside down? Why why is it so hard to get to that? I'm going to keep on shuffling. Get one of them. Final destination. Mm. <laughs> hard work? Because it it's too much of a hard... Is it too hard? You want it all, but it's just way too hard to uh, work on it, huh? That's how I'm seeing it. It could also be that uh, people are still in a current relationship with their karmics. Too afraid to move. Oh, my God, this keeps on coming up. Too afraid to move. You can't be stuffed. You don't want to work too hard about it. Sitting in your lazy ass. Strength. Bang. You guys, I don't know. It's right there. Divine Masculine is lacking strength. Or you are also lacking in strength to be able to release yourself. Um, there's delays there. I mentioned in my July energy, the Divine Masculines are struggling. They're struggling with strength. And, and you Divine Feminines... Need to work on yourself. When you work on yourself, you work on your divine masculine energy within you, you are going to help your counterparts by gaining the strength. So have a look at that video. They're stuck in this 3D shit. They're stuck. They're stuck. They're staring at, they're just staring it down. They're looking at the sun. They're seeing ships go past. They need to move. They're not moving because this, this smuck is happening. Let's keep on going. Any more cards that you need to tell in regards to this? Yeah, I, I was hesitant doing a reading. Because I just feel things were stuck. Judgment. Yes, again, this card's come up. If you ain't going to do it, Divine is going to kick your butt. Are you just waiting? Are they? You guys are just waiting for a miracle to happen. I think that's what's happening. You guys are just waiting for a miracle to happen to get you guys together. He or she, your Divine Masculine, is probably waiting for a miracle to happen for you guys to get together. Like... And it could happen. It can happen. You guys are already in union in the 5D. There's no doubt. But you, there's, there's again, this, this trusting, this trusting your union. 
the divine feminines need to again like i said you need to balance your divine masculine side as soon as you can do that you can release you can be, give unconditional love you both have to get to a point of unconditional love or else this is always going to go back and forth round and round um okay oh oh okay that was a bit weird all right okay i might leave it there ten of cups happy ending not yet put that over here happy ending but not yet okay i don't think the cards would want to tell me other than that we're all stuck it's really up to you guys to move to take action on your lives for divine feminines you just need to take action work on yourself work on your healings be playful focus on the environment that you're currently at not what's over there but your present right now what can you do right now to make you get to your happier self and obviously mainly divine feminines are listening to this anyway so you just got to get to that playful state right in the sun naked have fun just have fun. Just do it. Just get to that empress mode. Things will fall into place. Okay? The divine masculine will get there, but just not right now because they're caught up into this economic climate. And they will come to a realisation. It's just getting stronger. It'll, Angel Gabriel is just blowing his or her horn. Now, I'm not sure if Angel Gabriel is a female or male, but anyway... The divine masculines are yeah, they're gonna to have to move. They're they're um they're gonna crack. Like I said in the last energy update, they're gonna crack. They're waiting for a miracle to happen. And it might happen. Might happen. That miracle might just be around the corner. Alright, what else can I do? Okay, I'm gonna do the Amiris cards. Let's narrow it down to who this whoever comes out in these cards who might need to listen to it closely if it doesn't resonate with you these cards that's fine it's just for those who need to listen to it ice king he's back ice king is back travel lucky people who are traveling at the moment short term okay ice king travel short term Oh, okay. Possibly divine masculine. You haven't heard. They're giving you the cold shoulder. They're possibly traveling at the moment. Short holiday. So for the whoever resonates with this, their divine masculines obviously cut them off. Cold shoulder could be Nordic. Could be someone. Oh, going to the snow. Down here, ski season. Oh, going to the snow. Although. No one can travel to New Zealand because there's no... Ooh, short-term, ski trip, holiday. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay, from those in the north, northern hemisphere, travel, short-term, cold shoulder. That's how I'm getting it. Cold shoulder, short-term travel, travel, quick holiday. Okay, someone's out and about. Oh, that. Well, someone's going skiing. Yay. I love skiing. All right. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, what else? Let me get, okay, let me get, okay, I'm going to do the romance cards. Okay, how do they feel about you? How does the divine masculine feel about you? Because generally divine feminines are listening to this. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> that was, pay attention to red flags. There we go unrequited love and getting to know each other all right this could be finance just listen to your gut i mean obviously there might be things be caution throw caution in the wind here not necessarily about relationship here this can be just you in general it could be to do with work finances here this unrequited love i think it's more to do that you haven't heard anything from your counterpart and getting to know each other oh these cards these cards <laughs> I don't, I don't see this sitting with the rest of this. This getting to know each other is about getting to know yourself. That's what I'm getting from these cards. It's getting to know yourself more. You have to have that playful side of things go within yourself. 
unrequited, it's because you haven't heard or anything from them. Yeah, don't think of it that they don't give a shit. I think they do, and you've got to pay attention to red flags. That is to do, I think, to do with your work or your finances or that's something in the immediate thing, in your immediate vicinity, not to do with your relationship. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, oh, those are pretty shitty cards, though. Anyway, um, all right, let's, let's think. Let's think. Okay, I'm going to do the energy cards. I'm pulling out these energy cards now. Energy cards. Okay, anything you need to let the Divine Feminines know in regards to this week? What is there to know? Any messages? Any messages? No, there's too many cards. Any messages that the Divine Feminines need to know? Holy shit. Okay, that one. Fifth chakra. <laughs> okay, Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel. I'm telling you, they're tooting their horn. They're tooting their horn. Fifth chakra. Archangel Gabriel. Yep. Although, uh, they're talking about the throat chakra here. As you can see, it's lit up. And I'm telling you now, it's because of this, some miracle, maybe a miracle's going to happen, guys, <laughs> next week. It's obviously getting louder. I think it's getting louder for the Divine Masculine to listen to what's going on. They're going to have to uh, hear it very soon. I'm going to, I haven't used this before. The universe has your back. Now, it's more affirmation cards than anything. Some people use it in their tarot spread, but let's get an affirmation. I thought, love your inner goddess sort of thing, but I think you girls are, or guys, divine feminines, know what they're doing. And um, let's, let's see, because, you know, we've got Archangel Gabriel. Let's see what the universe needs to tell us here. What messages can you give us in the next week or so? These are not easy to shuffle. See? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Come on. Give me one cut. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hope is the conduit of miracles. So, peoples. Hope is the conduit of miracles. You need to, to trust the divine a timing. Archangel Gabriel, it's going to... It's, it's coming. The miracle is coming. You just have to be hopeful. You just have to trust in the situation going forward and focus on yourself in the meantime. Focus on the present of what you can do right now. Okay, recap. Here we go. Trust. Trust in divine timing. Release control. Be playful. That's the message that I got from these cards. You've also got a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. The universe is offering you something which is positive, right? You're moving away from things you want to ride in the sun naked. Now, you are the divine masculine, but, but both of you are being introverted, looking at your belly, <laughs> um, looking at your gut, what do I need to do moving forward? The divine feminines, at the level of you know wanting to become an empress they divine masculine see you as their divine feminine as the empress to them uh they see that you you actually intimidate them right you or them are actually trying to fight battles still but possibly one by one there's a bit of disorganization going on i think you guys are taking one step at a time which is fine which is great but there's also holding secrets to yourself i think it's holding finances being a bit of a tight ass I think Divine Masculine's holding on, and probably you have a secret stash, who knows. And we've got the King of Swords and King of Pentacles. Now, there's a bit of, you either got a shitty boss or whatever that's giving you grief, or them, your Divine Masculine grief. There's also a bit of corruption going on, surprise, surprise, in this world. And King of Pentacles, right? So there is this indecision of stability of, you know, the King of Pentacles is about insecurity of money as well. So there's also, I think the Divine Masculines, their jobs are insecure at the moment or your job could also be insecure. You're actually trying to save money and trying to make, trying to keep things stable, 
because of the current world economic problems, it's not easily to find jobs or have stability or security at the moment for finances. There's part, some of you probably got kids or your Divine Masculine's got kids that obviously need to support to make sure everything's good. It could also be that your or them are childhood sweethearts, high school sweethearts. They're obviously thinking about you and and you're probably having quite good fun memories, this playfulness of, of you two being kids, just having this playful soul. You're probably feeling your divine masculine. You've got this playful, giggly, I, I keep on hearing giggly type of, giggly and tickling sort of thing and play, being playful amongst each other. And and then over here you've got the um, star, the wishful, both of you, you've got this wishful thinking, the divine masculine sees you as their wishful wish and the four of wands that's the twin flame card so that confirms that the twin is thinking about you and ace of cups in reverse again there's delay you know why because it's too hard too hard or they're probably currently in a karmic relationship which is the focus is you know they just have to work on it they have lack of strength there's a lack of strength here they, they can't seem to move because of the energy level right see my previous video um, and hence the Ten of Cups are in reverse and they know what they need to do but they're not moving because they're expecting a miracle to happen. They're expecting a miracle to happen. Now I've got the Amiris cards, not for all folk, but there's Ice King, Travel and Short Term. Divine Masculine's either not, you're not in communication with them. Someone's cut, you gave you the cold shoulder, etc. Could be a Nordic person. <laughs> Travel and Short Term, I'd say, look, for me, I just think someone's going on a ski trip weekend away I don't know you're just not hearing from them now these romance cards aren't so romantic pay attention to red flags I think it's to do with your job and your finances unrequited love I think it's because you're not hearing anything nothing's really moving but it's just getting to know each other I'm saying it's getting to know yourself getting to know yourself getting to know make see your friends okay <laughs> and this archangel Gabriel came up again blowing his trumpet Talking about throat chakra, speaking your truth is also the thing. Speaking your truth, move forward towards unconditional love and release control of situations. You can't control everything, okay? And then hope is the conduit of miracles. Keep things light, just focus on yourself. Focus on yourself and be playful, have fun. Keep your frequency up. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's it's there. It's there. It's there. Just just things are a bit upside down at the moment. It's it's the mindset. Once the divine feminines can get to that happy high frequency, you're good. You're good. Okay. All right. I hope that resonates with you. I hope you like my reading. Don't forget the end of this video. I'm going to have a song that I would suggest for you to listen to. It's either to do with song, uh, visuals, lyrics, the artist itself. It could be just the beat. Something there that might give you further divine messages. And um, anyway, I'll catch you next week. Take care, everyone. See you then. Bye. The song choice I chose for this. Wow, look at that sun. Ooh. The song choice I chose for this week is by Calvin Harris and Rag and Bones Giant. Now, this has been on my Spotify account for a while, which I play quite a lot. It's The energy is actually coming from the Divine Masculine. It came from my July energy update in my previous video. Have a look. It's saying about the Divine Masculines are actually trying, trying their best, but in this crazy world, they're kind of feeling a bit beaten. So Divine Feminines, just hang in there and do your own thing. Keep yourself and frequency up. Have a good time. Just be playful. Just be more um, probably sympathetic towards them, energetically anyway. Don't have to ring them up. And hopefully things will go well with you guys. Just have a good time for now and catch you next week. Okay, see you then. Bye.